This is a routine for the puzzle game. It builds the puzzle pieces. It stamps them out. It starts out by changing from Canvas 2, the normal Canvas we use, to Canvas 5, which is the work Canvas. It then sets the value of A to 0 and B to 0. These values will be changed each time the piece is changed. Also, it sets a picture number to picture 2000. That will be changed every time we take a picture. Next time it'll take picture 2001. Last picture it'll take is 2024. Now it's going to go around a four next loop where I starts at zero and way down here I will be increased by 30 until it gets to 750. Well, 25 times 30 is 750, so it's going to do it 25 times. That's once for each piece of the puzzle. Well, we go back up here again. First thing it's going to do is make a large area of Canvas 5 transparent. The area is going to be 400 tall, 400 wide, and start at XY position zero, 0 This wash means make that whole area of Canvas 5 transparent. Then it says set the Z control register to 24. That's because there are 24 dots in X value, Y value for each box. So here it says, I want to make a dot list out of 24 values of X and Y. And remember this value of I changes by 30 each time, meaning that it's going to be a different one of our 25 boxes each time it comes through here in this loop over I. Well, it sets the color to zero, and it says make that polygon and place it on Canvas 5, because that's the active canvas. So now our puzzle pieces box has been made in black on Canvas 5. Then it says go get pattern 2, which is a square. We could go look it up in patterns. You'll find pattern 2 is a square. And then at rotation 0, size 300, and position 160, 160, with this nice color, I want you to make that pattern into a dot list and put it on to Canvas 5. Only one really special thing that's going to happen is when the pattern dots was issued it says option 2. So normally what would happen here is this big square would have been put on Canvas 5. But option 2 means it can be put on Canvas 5 only where something already exists on Canvas 5. It cannot go over any area that's transparent. So here, this color here is our picture, our whole picture. But it's only going to show the part of the picture that that box we made shows. So after this is done, because it's option two, the only thing there on Canvas 5 in the area we're working with is that one piece of the puzzle. So now what we want to do is we want to turn that piece of the puzzle into a picture. Pictures need control register T for tall, W for wide, and where the position is it's going to see the piece, which is A and B. That's the X and Y value. We originally set them to zero. 
So now on the first piece, there's still zero. We take the picture. Now we're going to increase the value of A by 60 to go over for the next picture. But we can't just keep going to the right. Only if A is less than 300 can we just keep going to the right because we may have to change rows. So if it's less than 300, it's okay. But if it gets over 300, we know you've gone wider than the picture is. So then we set A back to zero. That's the X, gonna be the X value. And we increase B, which is the Y value, by 60. So we've gone back to the beginning. We're going to the second row, which is down 60 pixels. Then we also increase the value for P, control register, which is the number of the picture. The picture started out as number 2000. Then it's going to go to 2001 and go all the way up to 2024. All right, so this is the routine that takes a picture of each puzzle piece.